I'm in Milton, a suburban town in Ontario, Canada, in one of the fastest growing communities in the province. Tucked away in this shopping plaza is Bread and Batter, a family bakery popular with this region's Filipino community. It's a new show on Food Network Canada and Milton's own Bread and Batter will be featured in it. Project Bakeover is a program aimed at getting struggling bakeries across the country back on their feet. We got a chance to speak with the owner of Bread and Batter, Tess Gonzalez, and daughter Erin, who say it is important for them to do everything they can to get their bakery to the next level. We started in 2015 and we're happy that, you know, customers keep coming in and uh, the community were really very like happy for our existence. But you were wondering that we're already on our third year yet. Um, the sales is still in the plateau. I know that um, customers are really very happy with the products. So we were just sort of wondering why. Calling it a feel good show, pastry chef and host Steve Hodge says it's his goal to try to build a bond with bakery owners and help them use what they already have to elevate their business. I wasn't going in there with the mindset that I'm going to throw difficult recipes at them to change. It had to make sense into what they're already making. So I wanted to build off of what they're doing. So for instance, uh, Milton, because they have a Filipino background, I wanted to incorporate recipes that still stay true to what the flavors that they were using. So it wasn't coming in and giving it a, a, a French style aspect on the pastries to things that they couldn't do. I wanted to keep it simple, yet uh, productive. Enhancing the menu isn't the only aspect Project Bakeover focuses on, and that's where Tiffany Pratt comes in. As a designer and artist, her job is to transform the bakeries themselves so that they can become as enticing as their owners' recipes. When people come into a business, they're they're effectively looking at everything as a reflection of what this cake is. So the cake may be beautiful in the display case, but if it's in an old dingy space that's not clean, that doesn't look whimsical and beautiful like the elements of the chocolate or the icing, it really doesn't invite you to stay or feel like it's a concise brand. Um, and in larger cities, you know, really what we do is we are going to places not only for our palate to be delighted, but we're going to places because we want a visual experience. And not to give too much away, but it does seem through this experience, bread and batter has certainly seen a positive change. And that's even despite the COVID-19 pandemic. The bakery has been able to not only remain open, but also break their plateau, leaving both Tess and Aaron feeling grateful. What we're most grateful for is that Project Bakeover came in and they showed us, when it started, they showed us how to really take the essence of our family and really embody that in our establishment, who we are as a bakery and what that personality is. We are enjoying this, like um, this family bakery and uh, sharing it with um with our staff as part of our family too, bread and butter family. Project Bakeover premieres on February 4th on Food Network Canada. Bread and Batter will be featured on episode four, which is scheduled for February 25th. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria. This is Project Bakeover.